Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. <laughs> Sam, what I said before about our relationship, I'm... I'm sorry I said it. I was upset. It may not be ideal, but... It hasn't been without its moments. Speaking of moments, this uh, is beginning to feel like one here. Yes, I think I've decided what I want, and it's not on the menu. Oh, you want to skip the main course and jump right into the Sammy souffle? I see you haven't lost your way with word. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, this is the perfect moment, but it is with the understanding, isn't it, of <laughs> what this step we're about to take means. Oh, yeah, 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 no problem. If they, if they give us any trouble, I'll just pay for both rooms. <laughs> <laughs> what it means between us. Oh, no, wait, listen, listen. No, it has to mean something, Sam. I'm only going to agree to do this if, if we agree that it doesn't mean anything. How can our lovemaking not mean something? Well, it's easy. Just concentrate. <laughs> uh, Mr. Clavin, some of your guests have been asking if they could take the plastic wrap off the food. Huh. Don't they understand when food is exposed to air, just about anything can happen. Yeah, people could eat it. <laughs> Very funny voice, Gary. Oink, oink, Mr. Peterson. Let's have a little restraint. This food's got to last us the rest of the night. Oh, the girls are here. <laughs> oh, Sammy, Sammy, I thought this was going to be a little budget affair. My treat. Oh, hey, well, in that case, ladies, welcome. Shake it, bake it. Let's see if we can take it. <laughs> Oh, come on in here. Hey, let me introduce you to the, uh, the guest of honor tonight. There he is. Sick him. Yeah, so Fitz, how are you enjoying your bachelor party so far? I haven't been this excited since I first trapped vapor in my input valve. <laughs> no man forgets his first time, huh? <laughs> oh, 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 my. Uh, don't worry, Fitz. They're not going to bite. He's right. That costs extra. <laughs> oh, my. What's wrong? Oh, don't you see? Frazier's in love. Is what? Oh, come on, Sam. You're forgetting I was once romantically involved with Frazier. I know when he's enamored of someone. Didn't you see his nostrils flare? <laughs> and everyone knows that hate is not the opposite of love. Indifference is. Well, whatever you say, I really don't care. <laughs> You've made many excellent points, Dr. Stern, and how do you respond to them, Dr. Crane? Dr. Crane? <laughs> well, excuse me, what was the question? Oh, yes, of course, excuse me. Um, yes, my method of flooding um, seeks out the patient's almost sensitive and vulnerable spot in the defense system and uh, penetrates, <laughs> probing deeper and deeper into the patient's psyche, thrusting over and over. <laughs> thereby uncovering the reality behind the irrational fear. Thank you, Dr. Gray. <laughs> Anything to add, Dr. Stern? Yes. Uh, hmm. Although Dr. Crane's method is faster, a slow and methodical approach can be much more rewarding. <laughs> Gentle stroking of the psyche will bring about a far more and intense release of emotion, <laughs> building until the patient quite often will literally cry out in a release of satisfaction and joy. Point well taken. This intellectual stuff's getting me all hot. <laughs> 
never be able to look her in the eye again. The only consolation is that nobody ever watches that show. Way to go, sex machine. <laughs> I'm ruined. Half of New England saw me today as a rutting pig. Come on, Frazier, you're not in rut, you're in love. Oh, nonsense. I don't think that because two people breathe heavily on a TV show is any cause for them to declare their undying love. Breathe heavily? I thought you were going to suck in a chair there. <laughs> I need to ask a big favor. All right, as long as it doesn't interfere with your job. Okay, then. I need to ask a huge favor. Would it be possible, two weeks from this coming Wednesday, for me to leave work early, about ten minutes? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. And thank you for not prying further into the matter. Especially since, well, I've no valid excuse for my early departure. Sam, I must be frank. Sounds good. I'll be Bob. I mean, it's not as if I had a dental appointment or I had to pick up some relative at the airport. Okay, Diane. Why do you have to leave early two weeks from this Wednesday? Well, if you must know, I have a date. Oh. Yeah, I've heard of those. Have fun. Ah, sweet, transparent bravado. Could there be a soul dearer than the little boy lost, trembling on the edge of despair, yet struggling manfully to maintain his stiff upper lip? Thank you for noticing. Oh. <laughs> Sam, wait, one more thing. Why? After our five-star dinner and season premiere of the ballet date, <laughs> Chad, Dr. Stark, may desire a kiss. Would you mind, should he ask, if I let his lips touch mine? Touch your what? Tan and wash, guys. The ultimate marriage of luxury and convenience. Combination tanning salon and coin-operated laundry. <laughs> Get real. <laughs> Come on, the timing's right on this. Summer tans are fading, winter's coming. It's always dirty clothes season. It's gonna be the hottest place in town. I'm glad you're already thinking about our <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Don't listen to them, Mormon. And never be deterred by the mindless jibes of the ignorant masses. Those ignorant masses are gonna be our customers. Hey, I'll be there with bells on. <laughs> Everyone will be there, buddy. Fluffing, folding, relaxing happily beneath the healthful rays of a federally approved UVA bronzing unit. Well, I mean, I gotta say that's the silliest, most harebrained scheme I've ever heard of. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Well, I gotta go. Now, I mean, walk me out. <laughs> I'm not leaving yet, Cliff. <clears throat> Neither am I. Ma and I want in. In where? <laughs> Don't be naive, Nami. Put me up for five shares. No, no. no I, investments are risky, Cliff. Look, I never do business with friends, all right? Besides, it's 200 bucks a share. Put me down for five, too, eh? Oh, great, now. Now the cat's out of the bag. I think you're all crazy. But if Clavin makes big bucks and I don't, I won't be able to live with the shame. Give me a share. Oh, me too, me too. You, Diane, laying bets on a laundry? Well, in my case, it's not a gamble, but rather a show of faith in our great free enterprise system. Yes, even Diane Chambers is not immune to the renaissance of American patriotism in the 1980s. Although I hasten to remind you, this does not imply any shifting of my support toward the current administration. I hope nobody was looking for a silent partner. <laughs>